Tano Maga, thanks for joining us today. Now, as a former All Blacks captain, seeing your team, your team win um, in the 2015 World Cup, back-to-back -back wins, historic win, um, how does it feel? Oh, I'm just so proud to be New Zealander. Um, you know, proud of those players that you know, did this great feat for our country. And uh, um, look, I was there at the game, and it was amazing. It was just an amazing feeling to do something that no one else has done before. Um, uh, really achieve something that neither New Zealand team has done before by winning away from home, um, winning back to back again. As I said, no one's done that before, um, and just. Uh, Knowing a lot of the players and what they've done to get to where they are, um, you know, all that hard work coming to fruition, and uh, you know, like I said, it's just a, a really proud moment, and it'll be etched in our history forever. Yeah, and you yourself, of course, have made history. Um, you know, as one of the legends of the All Blacks, and we have a photo book here going through your career, highlights of your career. Let's start off with the first picture. What do you remember from that? Um, yeah, that was one of my. Uh, first uh, training runs with the All Blacks after I'd been announced. Yep. Obviously with some greats there, John Lumu and uh, Jeff Wilson. Mm -hmm. We were the wingers. Um, you know, I suppose I roomed with uh, Jeff Wilson and um, he just, uh, I just remember that I couldn't sleep. Right. So, uh, uh, was it because of him? No, no, it was more because of myself. I was just so nervous. Oh, okay. uh, and uh, I got up early, went down to breakfast, um, trying not to wake him up, because uh -huh. you know, he'd been around for a while then, right. so he was a senior player. Uh -huh. And uh, when I went down to breakfast, I thought no one would be down there, but all the senior players like uh, Sean Fitzpatrick, Oral Brown, Robin Brook, Zinzan Brook, um, and these are the guys that, for me, they were uh, legends of the game then. This is my first training, uh, first first morning of uh, as being an All Black, so. Yeah. You know, I didn't say anything. Wow. It was very quiet. I actually tried to hide in the corner, so I, uh, I didn't sit with them until they yelled at me to come and sit with them. Right. Um, which I did. You know, you don't say no to the legends of the game. Uh -huh. um, but you know, they were very forthcoming and looked out and uh, yeah. made me feel welcome, which was great. And uh, you know, that's, that's probably the the, the, the uh, memory I have from this picture. As a, as a newbie in the group at that point, um, were there any traditions that they did? You know you know how they always bully sort of the new kid? Did they do that to you? No, not as much. Yeah. Um, oh, I shouldn't say that. I, I think we all knew our place. I was very, I had some friends already in the All Blacks then. Um, they let me know what I should be doing. And uh, you know, you sit right at the front of the bus. Don't speak until you're spoken to. Oh, wow. um, you do all the jobs that you have to do and you know, yeah. pick up the pick up everything, you know, pick up after everyone. My first job uh, was in the laundry, laundry committee, so I had to go around uh, all the players and pick up their training gear. So all our training gear here, uh -huh. we'd have to pick it up, take it to the um, you know, to our liaison officer who would take it to the laundry mat, then bring it back. Then I'd have to sort it because we'd all have to name our gear. Okay. Then I'd sort it into the little individual piles, uh, just so when the players came back. That evening, you know, they could just pick up their pile and go. So, yeah. So you did all that. I did all that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and um, obviously it's not a bad, uh, it's not the, the best job to have, but I was told that if you do a good job of that, you won't last long. If you do a bad job, you'll be on it for ages. So. Did you do a bad job? Uh, of no, it? I did a very good job. That means you didn't. Oh, okay, so they let you go after yeah, that. Yeah, so I didn't That's do it for good. too long. Good, exactly. right. The next one, that was at home. Oh, yeah. So this one, uh, that was in the 2003 World Cup um, against Italy. Uh, I played 21 minutes of the World Cup, and uh, was that you in pain? That's my yeah. yeah. I just uh, ruptured my uh, PCL, so that was my World Cup finish there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you work so hard for something, and then uh, you last 21 minutes, uh, and then you know, this is in Australia, so. Yeah, it was it was a bit of pain, but I think it was more the fact that I, you can see uh, your tournament slipping away from you because it um, you think that it's going to be uh, uh, could be gone, and it was in the end it was. So not much stories around there. I worked hard to try and come back um, in the latter stages of that tournament, but just wasn't to be. So yeah, it's one of those things. Mm. Injuries are part of the game. Yeah, I think it was 2005 Breslau Cup. The Tri-Nations. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was it, yeah. Yeah. 
That was a hard game. We just won. I just remember it for being so, weather being so bad, wet. And it was the kind of game where it was really close because of the weather, so you couldn't do much. It was real cold. I remember that. Um, but, you know, we got up in the end. We got, got a good result. Uh, I think Jonah played really well, I think. Um, As captain, though, um, you know, when, when your team's not doing so well, how do you motivate them? Um, I, I think for my, myself, um, you just try and keep them to task. So what's the next task? And, you know, what do we need to improve? You've got to read how the group's going. You know, maybe it's a little bit of motivation, or maybe it's a little bit of refocus. So in, in terms of motivation, maybe it's just well, we need to step up a bit more, we need a bit more um, effort, change our attitude. Uh, if it's focus, you know, we might have a lot of energy. It's just that we're not accurate in what we're doing. So uh, we just got to try and you know, calm ourselves down a bit, focus on our, our next job trying to always work to the next thing rather than dwell on the past or the, the incident or you know whatever's going wrong and because you can't do anything about that other than just move on and, and fix the next thing so um, always trying to do those kind of things yeah oh yeah that's um, Dave Gallagher trophy yes yeah. the Dave Gallagher cup well, I think the biggest thing for us is you know we, we get to play an armistice day and Dave Gallagher was uh, the first captain of the All Blacks. Um, we did a lot of research on him and which took us to Passchendaele and uh, you know, where he fought and the story of Dave Gallagher and yeah. you know, who he was, and immigrated from Ireland, um, went to the war before he should have, you know, he lied about his age and was meant to go over there, look after his brothers and, and uh, you know, didn't make it home. And obviously, that we have the deepest respect for what he what he did and what he achieved, and, and and so those stories are passed on from team to team when it comes to this kind of trophy, and it means a lot to us, yeah. um, just because we have that understanding. I think so. Yeah, you know, here we have obviously Richie, and everyone's got a few more abs than they do nowadays. I'd say, <laughs> <laughs> and Richie's got a few more scars and, and grey hairs than he did then. But yeah. you know, it's one of those proud moments. Proud right. moments. Oh, this photo. This photo. Yeah. No, this is around the Lions tour after the Brian O'Driscoll uh, incident. Everyone calls it the incident. Yeah. Um, I suppose, you know, when you see that, you know, I, I did feel hurt that they took it to this kind of uh, level that they thought that that would affect me. And, and it did, you know. I was hurt by it, you know, and I was angry that something within a game could be taken out of this. Um, yeah. But... You know, what can you do? I learned a lot about myself and, and yeah. influencing those around me and, um, and how to handle that. Um, and, you know, for these people to come and take the time to one, you know... To make these things. To make banners. these things. Yeah. Um, it obviously meant something to them and they, yeah. they, they felt strongly about it. And, uh, you know, look, that's just the way it is. And I, um, you know, I was with Brian just last, last week at the final. So, you know, a lot... With, a lot's been made of it, even now, um, you know, and that's just power of the media right. and keep uh, resurfacing these things. And yeah. you know, we, we put it to bed a long time ago, but uh, again, it's something that's happened in time and history, and we can't do anything about it. Um, and it'll always be brought up, you know, as we keep putting it. You know, it's in the past; not much we can do about it now. But um, yeah, you know, for that, you know, it was uh, it was a tough time that week, um, just for me personally but also for my family because they were taking the heat for that you know I, I kind of get over things pretty quick um, but it definitely motivated me to play well for the next couple of games because then in the end you know we beat the Lions 3-0 um, and they kind of got at me personally but you know look that, that that's life you know and uh, you have to live with things things and um, you know, in, the, in, in the end it's just uh, memories and people you know still remember it and like again um, Brian and I laugh about it now, but you know, again, that's just life. So that was uh, the DHL Cup in the Lions series. Um, yeah, probably one of the best moments in my life, winning the Lions series against a, a side you know, much revered. Um, you know, they came over with a, 
a lot of hype behind them and you know a big squad best prepared um, and you know again we had some great results against them you know we're very proud of that um, I am you know I'm great I'm so happy that I, I was part of that um, and uh, you know again it'll go down history about um, that we beat them three nil and, and well, I suppose that's where I get I, I do get a bit defensive in that the shine of that was taken off of our performances just with the incident the, the, the incident that we the incident that we just talked about we all worked hard for that tour it was a big it's a big occasion the Lions and we're very uh, everyone understands that you know they tore New Zealand again in 2017 um, so uh, I just hope that again it's all about the rugby and then you know that's what it should be um, and the results are the results you know, and they speak for themselves uh, and we're just every player that was part of it should be proud. So after we've uh, played the Lions obviously that's a, um, uh, a composite side from all the home nations. Uh, at the end of the year we went over and played them individually so England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales and uh, and, and we we got the result there too. You know, we, um, we were victorious uh, in all those games, which isn't hadn't been done uh, for a long time. I think seventy nine. I think I'm sure seventy one. I, I can't remember. Graham Murray was the captain of that side the last time to do it. So uh, yeah, you know, it was just uh, another proud moment. It was a pretty fulfilling year that year for, for me as captain um, to be a part of that. Uh, you know, again etch ourselves in history for uh, doing a Grand Slam and they've done a number since you know, but yeah. you know, to do uh, defeat the, the Lions and then you know, um, do a Grand Slam you know, again you know, that, another one of those proud moments that uh, you know, I can say that I've done there and um, some good games on that tour it was a sad time you know, that was my last game I retired after that game um, I hadn't really told many people uh, about it, so uh, I told uh, Graham Henry it was pretty much him, and um, so it came as a bit of a shock to some of the players. Um, you didn't mention it to your teammates. No, no, I, I just try and move on and fall out if I can, you know, yeah. just without much fanfare. And uh, so after this game, it was a pretty sad time. You know, it was the last time I was ever going to be in an all-black shed, um, putting pulling on a jersey, and but. I just felt it was time for me to move on. Um, uh, my stage and the stage in, in my career, I was had a young family and I was travelling away too much, and uh, I just felt it was way too much. Uh, well, this is one of the prouder moments of my coaching career. This is the first time ever that uh, Counties Monaco have uh, won the um, Ranfilly Shield. It's the first time I've ever won the Ranfilly Shield. As, as a player, I, I played for the Ranfilly Shield a couple of times, tried to win it, yeah. never did it. Um, and as a coach, you know, and uh, against Hawke's Bay and in Hawke's Bay, again, another proud moment. Um, for a, a small union like, like ours at Counties Monaco, um, you know, there's people, when we got home, people were crying, you know, yeah. crying because... Ranfilly Shield, uh, you need to understand, has a, a steeped in, in history um, in New Zealand. Uh, it's been around for a long time, um, and it's something that you know probably still survives the essence of professional rugby. It's something that stayed on, um, and so it's, it just harks back to all the old old school values of what rugby used to be prior to professionalism, and so it's still played uh, at the moment, and it's still steeped. In, uh, Heaped in history, and that's um, it's, it's always great for our country, and especially for a, t a union that's never won it like Counties Monaco. Uh, it was a good summer. It was a good summer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you say that there's a specific coaching philosophy that you stick to, and do you feel like maybe your time as a captain for the All Blacks that's helped you a lot as well as a coach? Um, yeah, I'm a as coach, so um, you know I I have a lot of empathy for how they feel and I think what they need and um, but in saying that I'm also very strict in terms of everything I do is always in the best interest of the team um, so all my, I believe all my decisions are made easy because of that so if I think it's best for the team no matter whether it's with an individual or, in, in, uh, or you know, with staff or management 
Um, before I keep to that uh, ethos, then my decision is I always think it's better for the team. So, you know, I can justify it and I live it. And if people have issues with that, then maybe the biggest issue is that, you know, you, you've got to think about, you know, what you're here and what you're doing it for. Because mm -hmm. rugby's not an individual sport, it's, you know, it's a team sport. So, um, although in saying that, the individuals have to prepare themselves as best they can, so there's a bit of work for them to do. But in, in the end, we've got to come together and do it together. And so, yeah, I, su I suppose that's my philosophy in, in, in that. And, you know, as is team first, family's first for me as well. So it, it probably translates into my, my home life. You know, family's first for everything I do. I do it all for my family and um, it just kind of keeps things simple. The haka um, means a lot, you know, we grew great meaning, grew a greater understanding of it. Um, it's one of, I, I feel, it's one of sports biggest sort of like superstition sort of. It's a bit of a contentious issue yeah. with uh, other teams. Yeah. For us it means a lot. Yeah. For us, um, whether we do it out on the field, it's what people want, uh, you know, from what we know now, it's what administrators want, you know, that people love to see it. Um, if we didn't have to do it on the field, then we'd do it inside because, it, again, it's just for us. Um, people say it's a challenge. Has there been a, a moment where they didn't allow you to do it on the um, field? I think so. I yeah. think uh, I recall after I finished that the All Blacks decided to do it inside because there was so much decision and, and um, talk about, oh, you shouldn't, you can only do it at this time or this time. And says, well, hey, look, in the end, it's just for us. So, um, and um, and they did it, and so they didn't do it on the field, and then. Even that sparked some, so you just can't win, yeah. you know. <laughs> um, and uh, it, it's something that uh, unites us as a nation, and you know, it's unique to our country. So uh, that's what we like to represent. You know, we're always representatives you know, of our country, and um, the haka is probably what's uh, synonymous for, with uh, when people think about the All Blacks, you know. Um, but it's not something that we that we do lightly, it's something that you know, we, we have the utmost respect for and, and uh, now that we have a deeper meaning for it, you know, we have more respect for it. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned earlier as well, like there always has to be an intent behind it, right? Mm -hmm. Like you wouldn't do it just for show or just for TV or... No, right? it's not something you just do at a drop of a hat for, yeah. um, you know, uh, like you say, nowadays for me and even for a lot, lot of people, you know, there has to be some intention behind it. You know, it's because of that respect we have for it. So it's out of respect that we do it. Respect for, you know, as I said to you, last time I did it was at a funeral. So it's out of respect for family members. Um, you know, you know, others do it like uh, you know the All Blacks have just after winning. There was a lot of huckers done for them out of respect for what they've achieved. So you know, once the game finished, the All Blacks did the hucker. I think out of respect for those that supported them and. And those that have uh, travelled a long way and helped them, you know, to get to where they are. So, uh, you know, when it's done for the right reasons, I think we we get um, you know, good understanding about it. Okay, all mm. right. I think that's the last one. That's the last one. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, after this second segment, we're going to ask you questions from your fans. Sure.